Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. All Things Middle Earth here with a video on some alternate versions of characters we could have coming to the Heroes of Middle Earth in the near future. This was confirmed or at least talked about in an article or several articles where the lead game designer was interviewed and talked about some what if versions of characters. He mentions a few specifically, so I want to bring up a few of the popular examples, then maybe some less common ones. But I'd love to hear what you think. Do you want alternate versions of your favorite characters in Middle Earth? Or do you just want them to stick to how we see them and how they're portrayed? Let me know because I think it's probably going to be pretty hit or miss, but it is a hero collector. So I just want to brace you that there's a good chance we could have multiple versions of the same character. So I'm curious where you land on that. Let me know down below, but let's go ahead and hop into the video. Now there are a number of articles. There's actually four that I've been reading through or read through. So I'm going to link those down below because I know it's not for everyone and I'm not going to spend a lot of time reading through every line of text, but the, the short, gist of it is that they are considering or have considered and are thinking through who they can add to the game in alternate versions in what if versions where what if this character did or did not do this thing or what if this thing happened to this character instead of this character how would that play out and how would that character look in this game so that is something that's you know without it being in the game basically confirmed so i wanted to talk through some of the examples not only that they shared but also are kind of popular what if versions for this game Again, the what if like theorized versions of characters is not a new thing to like Middle Earth stuff. There's lots of videos online. If you look up what if Gandalf took the ring or what if, you know, whoever, there are lots of things about that. So this isn't a new concept by any means. But again, if you've not played Hero Collector games before, this is Galaxy of Heroes, which is the other game they develop uh, that CG develops. And for example, there are five Chewbacca's and there are five Han Solo's. Now, this game's been out for eight years, so I'm not saying that like all of a sudden we're going to have five Aragorns and it's going to be way too much. But we see Chewbacca, for example, in the Star Wars universe in a number of different, you know, renditions throughout the years. And so characters that have long lifespans and do different things, you know, maybe even if, if it's kind of minor, there are a few like Han Solo where, you know, maybe it's a little overkill, but, uh, you know, there's like a Stormtrooper Han when they have the Stormtrooper armor on. It's not like that's like really a version of him, but there are things like that where if, you know, any of the characters at any point wear a disguise, like Frodo and Sam when they put on the orc armor in Mordor, that could be a version of those characters as, as one example. That's not even on my list, but just off the top of my head. So again, I would expect multiple versions of these characters. And I think with them having mentioned it, some what if versions are potentially on the way. And again, when I say on the way, it could be years, but they could come to the game eventually. So let me know if it's something you wanna see or if you are opposed to, because I, I do think we're gonna be split on this, but let's jump into a few examples of what this could look like. Now, there are three that I think make a lot of sense and that I think would be very popular. I think these would be bigger legendary characters for sure and they're just alternate versions of very powerful characters in middle earth so the first one is going to be an evil version of gandalf if you saw the thumbnail i think it's one of the coolest pictures i've ever seen that like has to do with lord of the rings you just have the gandalf with the sword on fire you can see the ring on his finger lighting up and this is something that tolkien actually wrote about in terms of characters that would be able to take the ring and actually use it and be at like the power level of sauron and gandalf is one of those being that they are kind of the same type of being. So in terms of actually being plausible and talked about by Tolkien is like that what if, like even Tolkien himself did that. I think it makes a lot of sense. It's one of the more interesting ones. It makes a character that I think a lot of people love, like Gandalf the Great or Gandalf the White, who is very powerful and wise and cares for the, for the hobbits and those things, turn to something that we've definitely not seen. So I think it'd be very interesting. The question would also kind of be like what squad would be, because again, at least what my brain does is I think of these characters I think of, you know, how they could be used. So, for example, if Saruman were to come to the game, uh, it makes sense to me he'd be used with uruk -hai. Again, that that just seems like a no-brainer. He's leading the uruk -hai. Cool. Um, but if there is a evil version of Gandalf, um, is he does he fit into a similar role like that? Or is he still leading free peoples, but he's, like, leading them against their will? I have no idea. But... I would love to see what the squads end up looking like with these like corrupted versions of the characters. Speaking of Saruman, again, he's like an iconic wizard who I think will be cool. We have him as the normal Saruman that, that we see and know, but the Saruman that we could be seeing in a what if version is a redeemed version of Saruman, whether he's redeemed by some action and turns away from the evil or just never falls into that place in the first place. I think a redeemed Saruman could be used to any effect. Again, he can maybe fill that role of what Gandalf would do or could do in this game as well but he could just be played alongside different free people. There could also be a wizard squad. So if we have a Gandalf the Grey or Gandalf the White and they redeemed Saruman, that is three of the five wizards or three of five for a squad. 
that we could have. And again, this isn't even talking about Blue Wizards or Radagast or any different versions of those characters. So the likelihood that we end up having a, you know, five-man squad of Wizards, and it potentially could include a What If version of Saruman, seems pretty cool to me that he could lead that team as he was intended to. I think that'd be very, very cool. But I don't know. that I, I always like to think through the What If scenarios for these characters. But let me know what you think of those first two. Now, the third one, and one that they did mention as well. So this one, again, I would almost expect would be a corrupted version of Gladriel. Now, Gladriel is not a wizard, so she wouldn't fall into the same category as the first two, but Gladriel, the corrupted elf queen, who, again, not sure how she'd fit into it. Would she still lead elves, and it's just like this corrupted ruler who's leading with an iron fist, or does she go a different route? Um, you know, is she does she not play with any squad? She just, like, goes out solo and does crazy things. I have no idea, but a corrupted version of Gladriel. We get a few glimpses through the different movies, of what that could look like and what the amount of power she has is like when she wields it and kind of turns a little bit to that side. So it'd be interesting to see for sure how she'd be utilized, but an evil Gladriel, they do reference it specifically. So she'd be one I would probably bank on having eventually, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, some other ones will go more rapid fire because they are less common or might be less likely. Again, we could have any of these or none of these, I don't know, but just some ideas that I have when thinking through this. The first one would be a different version of Denethor. Again, Denethor, I, you know, right now in the game, we can't unlock him, but we, you fight against him. He is a good side character, you know, and he, he plays in like that Gondor team. So technically that good side character that's kind of on the line maybe. So any version of him that like is, you know, free any corruption or use of plants here or a fully corrupt version of himself, where again, he's more of an evil character, I think could be interesting. Another ruler type character could be Theoden, a corrupted version of Theoden. If Gandalf White never cleansed Theoden from Saruman, and he just stays that way again. I don't know what kind of character he'd actually be. He would be one that I think would just like sit in the back and command and do things without like taking a lot of motions. You know, think kind of like a Jabba the Hutt character. I don't know if that's a good example, but just that like sit back. He's he's corrupted, really being controlled by someone else, but kind of commanding or like using his kingly power, but for the wrong side, if that makes sense. So a corrupted Theoden could be interesting. Another one in that Rohan family would be Grima Wormtongue, so a non-corrupted version of Grima Wormtongue. Uh, again, just if he never was corrupted, or if there was a point where Grima does leave Saruman and say, hey, I'm not doing this anymore, this is a little bit out of hand, uh, what would he look like? Would he just play into like a Rohan squad where he's all of a sudden best buddies with all the Rohan characters we have in the game? Does he play into like a more like leadership type of squad, like with Theodins and Aomers or whatever it is? Obviously, we have the five Rohans right now, so it'll I'm, again. I don't, I don't expect him by any means more than anybody else. But again, it would be interesting if there was just a good version of Grima who added uh, something a little bit more. He'd definitely be like in some kind of a support role. He wouldn't be, you know, wielding double axes or anything like that. But it could be interesting for sure to see what he'd look like. One that we could have as well, and this could, I guess, go for any of them. But we're going to pick on Frodo. Would be a Wraith version of Frodo. Uh, after his stab on Weathertop or just like uh, due to corruption of the ring, whatever it is. And really at any point for these kind of little characters in Middle Earth who are who are just like in way over their heads, if they something happens that leads to their corruption or them kind of becoming a wraith, a wraith version of Frodo again, how that would be used. Is that something that like there's a Witch King team that has like these like wraith like characters? He's like a wraith version of Frodo. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of interesting, but they're already like, I don't know. They're already. I think they're kind of funny characters just to see them. Like you know, Frodo look literally does like a somersault, like hits with his sword. So seeing a wraith version, just this little Frodo running around, I think could be kind of cool. But I don't know. Maybe a wraith version of all the hobbits will be coming to the game at one point. Speaking of ring wraith, we don't have any in the game yet. Uh, Witch King's data mind. We you play against them, so I absolutely think we will have ring wraiths. But there could also be ring wraiths pre their corruption, or just a what if the the nine rings that were given to these kings of men did not corrupt them or what if Sauron never made his ring. And so there's just these powerful rings that that make these, you know, these kings great rulers, kind of sorcerer type type beings. Uh, what would that look like? Again, if we're gonna have nine Nazgul eventually, maybe I don't really know if I want to also add nine kings on the other side. Although it, this, I think I'd prefer that over made up characters. And I think that's part of my like preference to this. I am okay with a lot of the what if stuff because I feel like that to me makes more sense than a made-up character like, I don't know, there's a lot of made-up characters already. Again, they they decided they were going to turn away from, like, the, um you know, elven spear person or the elven shield mating or whatever you want to call it, or, uh you know, dwarven guardian. They they wanted to go away from, like, generic sounding names, like all the goblins, like Goblin Chef and Goblin Quickshot, and they wanted to actually give them... So they're, to me, they feel less real and more made-up now and just harder to remember 
as opposed to just kind of a generic like you know gondor tower guard now again i don't want there to be 15 similar kind of like gondor tower guard brown hair gondor tower guard with like extra pointy spear i don't want to have a bunch of versions of characters like that but if there's one goblin chef i don't really care but now it's chef Krasik or whatever and it's like a, i think goblin chef was fine personally but they're trying to make it not so generic sounding which i kind of get but i think if they don't overdo it i don't mind at least that starting out that like one version of each of like the really common types of soldiers so for me a alternate version of a different character i'd prefer over a made-up character that they're just like oh this is this so and so really powerful king instead if it was like one of the nine kings of men pre-corruption at least that that's technically lore accurate so i'd like that more than just more made up characters but that's just me and the last one would be an evil or king evil corrupted king version of boromir if he by whatever means gets a hold of the ring i think he would try and use it to overthrow sauron to what effect you know obviously that's to be seen but a version of boromir that's corrupted would he still be played with gondor and just you know be kind of corrupted like a denethor or like a, a denethor or like a little bit extra denethor i don't know but i think it'd be kind of cool because he, Boromir doesn't get a lot of love. He always gets killed off. So if he could have a, a couple of versions, I think that'd be I think that'd be nice. So anyway, that's going to do it for the list of the different characters. Again, some of these may never happen. We might see a few of them, but I'm curious what you guys think just in general on this idea of what if characters they've talked about it already. They said it's going to happen to some extent or they, they kind of would like to explore that. Uh, do you guys think that goes against the lore and like whatever of Middle Earth? Or are you OK with the idea that we're playing a a mobile game or a video game and so you know we can have some fun with it i am curious because i think i do sit on both sides where sometimes i'm like nope i want it to be really lore accurate um and sometimes it's like i think a evil gandalf with the fire sword would be pretty cool because it's a video game so you're supposed to explore stuff that didn't happen at least in my opinion so let me know what you guys think down below but that is going to do it for me this one and i'll see you all in a future video mm -hmm.